Hello everybody, got some light bulb finds. All of these are this particular style I had been looking for and always keep an eye out for throughout the year. These are in the wrong packaging, but that's it's the matte finish. These really old GE bulbs, the first generation C7 bulbs. So I'm gonna take a look at each one of them. I'll, Go back to these a minute. These are green. Have five in that package. And these are multicolored. These are in excellent condition for what these are. And then I have some that are in not quite as good a condition, but they're, it's a mixed package. I got these because they had the two interior coated C7s and then I got a good blue interior or a good blue of the matte finish a good orange one a good red one and the rest of these are ceramic coated and this green one's in fair condition it's one of the later ones can't be too careful with these bulbs here so that's why I have the glove on to try to protect the finish of the bulb this is an earlier one because it's got the writing around the base there, so that's pretty cool. This one's another early one. And let's see about this one. That's another early one. So that's good. These here I think are a mixed variety. Yep, early. That's early. All these are early ones, looks like. Yep. So that's real good. These I use on that little two-foot Christmas tree I put on that homemade clock. We'll come back to these in a minute and test a few of them out. Set those to the side. I found the G14 bulbs as well. I have one with the pristine box, but the bulbs are just a little bit crazed. And that's this style of bulb here. They're a little bit later because they just have the GE Block logo. There is one that's in almost perfect condition. But if they see any kind of moisture at all, the finish crinkles up on them. But it's a, they appear to be new old stock. Still have the uh, corrugated protector on them as well. There's those, and there's another indicator that that's probably new old stock. These, the box is in worse condition, but the bulbs are in better condition. And again, they're in the correct box. One got wet. You can see the water damage on the box. And of course, this one bulb, the finish is quite damaged on it. But the rest of them are in real good shape. Pull this one. So let's test some of these. I guess I'll test some of these blue ones first since I'm right here. Let's turn the voltage up on these, see what they look like. And that is uh, real nice. It's a real nice dark blue. Camera doesn't do it justice. Turn all the lights off. Maybe a little better towards the base of the bulb. Kind of shows what color they are. That's a little better, but still they're a real deep blue. Very nice looking bulb. 
I now have the red bulbs populated. Let's see what those look like. Yep, that's a, that's a real nice color. Real nice deep red. Camera doesn't do them justice, but they are nice. Alright, I've got some green ones populated. Let's see what those look like. Yep, those are good. Nice bright green. And once again, the camera doesn't do them justice, but they do look nice. There's that etch on there, made in USA. Not quite a perfect finish, but not as bad as some I've seen by any means. Turn the lights off and give them a look in the dark. And you can kind of begin to see what these really look like. That's pretty darn close. Except they look a little bit more yellow in real life. Very nice looking bulbs. Glad I got those. All right, let's power these up. Okay, yep, yeah, that's fantastic colors there. That just man, those are nice. Doesn't get any better than that. The original C7s. I think they were making these in the mid 30s. <coughs> Blue's always hard to capture. And there's the green. Very nice. Very nice find. Let's give that a try. And they all work. Not bad. This red one here actually looks pretty darn good. Cut the lights that white one in there that kind of messes things up a little bit actually shows the blues just about like they are in real life so cool so this has been a look at some of my recent bulb finds thank you for watching